promotions, baby. Let's go. Yeah, baby. The Funk family, and we back with a whole nother video. It's your boy Funk Flaw, man. Yo, it's Ellie. Yo, it's Swiss. And we we about to get into this week of music, man. Let's get right into it. Is Jay Critch's new project "Sign with Love"? Oh, I like this one. Yeah. What y'all What y'all thinking about this one? It was short. Oh, uh, it was pretty short. It was like twenty eight minutes. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah. I like most of the songs on it. It was chill, smooth vibe, just like Jay Critch always does. I have a friend who engineered on that song too much, so. That was really dope to hear. Yeah, I was really fucking with All I Wanted. Um, whenever fucking Rich the Kid came out with his Rich Forever and had like Dex and Critch and shit, I always fucked with Critch more out of all three of them, bro. Rich was cool too, but then Rich was tripping, bro. But yeah, Critch, all, Critch has always had like, I've never like liked his albums in full, but like his music, like he has some good ass hits, like singles and shit. I fuck with it. especially fashion, bro. If y'all remember fashion, fashion was hard when it came out. Yeah, that was but good. Off, off this one, um, all I wanted definitely was he started that shit. He started that shit off hot, bro. For sure. Yeah, which one do you think would be like one that's like fashion? What song off this do you think is like that? I don't think there's like a little big single that sticks out like that. I mean, for me, yeah, I'd say the same. There's not really a big single that sticks out like that. Like, but I said, like, my favorite song would be like the first song, bro. Like, like he, like he, he came in that bitch swinging, and then yeah, the, other yeah, one, yeah. the other ones Facts. were cool. Facts. I like uh, Bend That for sure. That was definitely my favorite. Uh, oh yeah, Bend That was hard too. Yeah. Hard, hard, hard. And I liked it. Um, Stacy Dash as well. That was a solid song. Um, I think he dropped that song. Um, a little bit before the project actually dropped, so I think that had a little, a little bit of its own buzz itself. But um, been that Stacy Dash for show. Um, the letter to my niggas, I like that song as well. Um, that was a hard song. He was talking some real stuff on there. Um, overall, it was a decent project. I feel like he's he kind of like plateaued. Um, ever since right. like around that time, he dropped fashion. And he was dropping those projects with Rich Forever. But I was gonna um, say that too. But um I think his like fan base is like is solid enough. You know what I mean? Like I was looking at actually on YouTube, bro. He didn't really have a crazy amount of views. He had like fifty K, which is straight. But like, you know, I think his fans that like do that do fuck with him are always gonna come back and check out his music, but I don't see any more growth for him. But like the album is definitely solid in relation to what he normally puts out. You know what I mean? But it's not like, you know, I, I didn't even know he was dropping, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I definitely agree with you, uh, Swizz. I definitely agree with you, bro, on that one. Like, he definitely plateaued a little bit. But I feel like he's still at that same level. He, he just hasn't, like, all the way elevated or yeah, with the bro. music as much. So, uh well, I'm excited to see what he got next, man. He probably he's probably gonna drop a deluxe version to this, like that's a new trend. So let's let's look out for that. For sure. So yes, sir. Well, so what was which y'all rate? rated? Yeah, which y'all rating it at a, at a ten? Um, I give it a seven. It wasn't bad. Say like an eight. I'm gonna say like an eight for Jay Critch for what he does himself. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna say a, a seven for sure. Solid project, but a lot of Solid, room for yeah. improvement. Solid, but a lot of room for improvement. So, uh, let's see what he has next for us. Lil Dirk, must have piece fun. Lil Dirk, the voice. What y'all think about this one, man? Too far, bro. Still trapping. Still trapping. Still, Still trapping. Misunderstood. India Part Three, bro. God damn, he said, man. hold on, he said India Part 3. <laughs> bro, all that shit is hard. <laughs> all that shit is hard. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. That bitch, bro. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I think um, the solid project, for sure, for sure. He been hot. And then especially especially after the death of Vaughn, it was devastating for him. He, he had hopped on social media for a little bit, so... Um, let's, this was obviously what he was doing, working on music and working on a, uh, 
a new project to give to us. But um, Red Man, Fire, The Voice, Red. obviously Fire, Back Door, The Video, Crazy, Still Trapping with Vaughn. Yeah, that's a lot of songs on here. I don't, I don't remember how I know You know what I mean? India Part 3, movie. Girls gonna love it. Sleeper on here, Lamborghini Mirrors. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Lamborghini <laughs> Mirrors was good. Hey man, Buka, hey, they need to give Buka some more light, man. Buka got Buka need to go up, man. He need to drop some more music, man. He going crazy. Well, I got six hundred, man. Shout out, shout out, Buka, six hundred. Well, they said Dirk is on pace to sell like eighty k, right? I heard, bro. I think he should be selling more than that, bro. This shit was fire, but didn't he do like a surprise drop or some shit? Like he, he did like damn near no promo on that bit. Like I said, bro. I didn't know Dirk was dropping either, bro. And I'm gonna, I normally know, like, especially, I listen to Dirk, but nigga, nigga said, like, a week before, bro, you're dropping some music. Or however long before. It wasn't a long time at all. Yeah, definitely. Um, He dropped, I believe he dropped this on, like, a Wednesday. I'm not too for sure. But I knew it was, like, a, a day in the middle of the week. So uh, it was kind of last minute. Well, not, it probably wasn't last minute for him and his team, but last minute to the people to know. And um, so that messed up with the sales a lot. If you don't drop like on a Friday, like the whole yeah, the full know. week, yeah. the full week of sales, you don't, it doesn't accumulate. So that's why he's not all the way at what it sh probably should be. But he, that's still a solid number for okay. such a short notice of a project. Yeah, 50, okay. He's projecting. What, what's that? He'll, he'll probably do uh, two or three, three at least on the uh, billboard with that. I week. thought it was 55 at first, but then it went up to 80. Okay. Yeah, it was like 55 at first, but then it jumped up to 80. And it's, I think that's what I had seen. Yeah, he definitely not doing fit. He doing he's bigger than 50 now. But um, yeah, this is a hard project, bro. Like, I'm gonna get this one a nine for sure. Yeah, I'll give it a nine too. Yep. Yep. All right, easy, easy, easy nine. But it's Still hard. Was so hard. <laughs> I would say though, I think this would have been bigger if it didn't drop same week as Cardi. Um, because I feel like Cardi take over. <laughs> just, he just drops and take over the whole landscape. Um, Need to see the first week for that. But you know, Dirk's Dirk's the one. He this is his year, so nobody can nobody can really stop that. Anyway. But still, you know, with the attention from all the fans. But um Rest in yeah, Peace Vaughn. Yeah, rest in peace Vaughn for sure. Which y'all which y'all gonna rate this one out of ten? I gave it a nine. Like I said, like an eight for sure. I give it a nine. It's probably eight, in my nine, opinion, yeah. bro. This is my favorite album. Would have done better if Cardi did wasn't dropping though. Yeah, I think yeah, actually I'm not gonna give it a nine. I'm gonna give it a nine point two. Wow. I think it would. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give it a, <laughs> a 9.2. A little more. All right, all right, man. All right, to, to close it out, man, the last project that we're going to talk about, full project, is Playboy Cardi after 30 years Ooh. of anticipation. To, to ER. Growing to old decades. through... I think last time he dropped, I was a freshman in college, man. I just graduated. He dropped again, man. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, you gotta accomplish something in life for Cardi to drop, man. <laughs> no, thanks. Hey, but Cardi, yeah, Cardi. a lot of mixed, right. a lot of um mixed reviews on this one. Yeah, a lot of people did not like. A this lot one. of mixed reviews on this one, but first, what do y'all think? I think that the features were good. Um, I think the features alone were good. I don't like the mix of Metamorphosis, but I'm a huge fan of Cuddy, so, you know, that's where I stand on that one. But he's a rager, bro. All right. Um, I'm going to say every time, so at first listen, I'm like, uh, second listen, I'm like, 
Third listen, I'm like. Mm. Fourth listen, I'm like, jump out the house and jump out the house and jump out the house. Jump out the house. Nah, that one that still ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 I ain't gonna lie. Hey, this yep. one, it's a lot of, it's a, it's a few songs that's like, uh, I don't know, but it's a, it's some, it's some ones on here, bro. Oh, like, uh, Jump Out the House, Slayer for short, Slayer. Slayer's uh, the hardest shit on there, bro. Yeah, that's, that's like next level Cardi. <laughs> that's like, that's the whole tape should have been like Slayer, oh. but like. Control is like that too. Control has like the same type hard. of vibe. Control bro, that shit, hard. that intro made academics whole 2021, bro. That shit made his whole year. Oh, he's gonna be eating off of that. No, bro. he was on. He was on a couple more. He was on a couple other albums, bro. He was on the six nine one, and he was on the um. He was on. Must be proud of. He was on another one. I forgot which one it was on. <clears throat> but he was on another one. So um, yeah, this Cardi. What do you think about about uh, Izzy? I mean, Ig- Iggy Azalea, like, bugging yes, out right bro. now. The whole drop for this was a whole movie, bro. Like, at 12, bro. It's like she had this shit planned, bro. Like, as soon as this nigga dropped, she started yeah. spitting, bro. Yeah, she, bro. Dropped like, some, she, she dropped some new stuff today. I was like, I ain't even peeping into it because I was busy. But she been going crazy. But, like, as far as the music, like, what's y'all favorite songs off of here? Uh, definitely Bam, Bam, Bam. Beat. Definitely Beat on. Slayer, bro, on that time. Uh, what's it? The uh, what's that, fuck, bro? Oh, you know, it's hard, playing, bro. Not oh, playing. uh, I ain't like not playing. It's it's okay. Boy, it's okay. It's okay. Shoot at his bitch. Shoot at his camp. You ain't fuck with that, bro. Hey, what you say, Swizzy? Say it again, bro. Bro, that nigga said, shoot at his bitch. Shoot at his camp. You ain't was the fucking with that, bro. I don't know about that one, bro. Oh, uh, play it. Bugging, I can't play it for YouTube. But it's cool. It. It's cool, bro. But it's okay. short too. Hey, no, 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 no! I like this. Nah, one. I thought you, you I was mistaken. It. You, I was mistaken it for a different song, but that's it. When he was like, well, "Every day as I should," yeah. Can't part. Bro. That's the hardest part. That's the hardest part. <laughs> <laughs> no, the hard, no the song um Vamp Anthem. Hard. Mm, I like King Vamp more. No, 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 no. Vamp Anthem, bro. I like King. Listen to the beat, bro. Very corny ass beat. <laughs> 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 you better be ready. <laughs> that was a hard. Hey, that might have been. <laughs> you ready? You ready? Uh, bro, some of the songs I don't even know what he's saying, bro. But the hardest. What y'all think about the features, though? What's the hardest feature? What's the worst feature? Probably, and the hardest feature. Probably the hardest feature. Wow. That's hard. Hardest feature is hardest future. Feature, future, no. hands down. Future, hands down. Hardest feature is future. Man, you just I love couldn't that even song. finish that song, like bro. That song. No. I couldn't even finish that song. <clears throat> Teen X? That's like the second best song on there, bro. That's a whole lot of cap, bro. <laughs> I'm on the X. I'm on the <laughs> Like, bro, what? <laughs> bro, my, my top three is Slayer, bro, Bino, and King Vamp. Easy. Bino is hard as fuck, bro. Yeah, Bino's hard for sure. I mean, I don't. I think it could have been a lot better for two years, though. I was expecting like it could have been. It could have been under twenty songs, at least under twenty songs. He ain't had to go twenty four. He could have went twenty, bro. Nineteen, twenty. He could. He should have went more. He's He's about to drop. He's dropping a deluxe. He's about to drop a deluxe. You need to drop them damn leaks, bro. I need to hear SRT on that bitch. So we that's need a Uzi feature, bro. Where's the Uzi feature? That's when he was act. That's who he was asking fans about the other day. He's like, "Do y'all want the deluxe? What should I have on it?" So everybody's dropping like all the their favorite leaks, you know, and the threads on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, what's y'all favorite leaks though, my bro? Um, the one that I really liked was the neon one, and it made it onto the album. Yeah, neon is. The I'm one. surprised that was on there, but yeah, that was hard. I listened to that song so many times though. Without it, it wasn't like it was like you feel me. You know that snippet where it's him and Skepta in like that parking garage and he's dancing. They dancing. I mean, you know that you know you know what I'm talking about. What song is that? My stuff. I don't know. 
I don't know what song that is. No, that's not the Tommy Hurt one. It's another one where he's dancing, him and Skepta. No, no I've seen that one. I've seen that. I don't know the name of it, though. Find that. You gotta find that. But there's a whole lot of leaks that I heard about, but I didn't know about them. Like, I didn't hear them. I don't really listen to all that. I mean, if he drops all, I mean, all of Carter's leaks are fire, though. Like, Carter's got some good ass leaks. I don't really support the leaks, bro. I don't like supporting leaks, bro. But if you hear it, you hear it. Um, I want to talk about this. How do y'all feel about the the reaction to the album after having to wait all this time? Because I remember when the eyelid dropped, bro. I had just graduated high school, damn near. Now I'm on my second to last year, damn fucking college, bro. <laughs> this nigga is supposed to have been dropping a whole lot of rent for a long time. Facts, 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 facts. But, um, like, how do y'all feel about the reception? Because for me, uh, you know, it's like, bro, he dropped at 12, 12 or 1. You already got niggas saying the album's ass, bro. You listen to an hour-long album in a minute, bro. So it's like, I feel like, like, I feel, do you all feel like people uh, kind of got, like, this mob mentality going on, like, capping on it? Or do you feel like people genuinely don't like it? Because I was one of them niggas at first. Like, I was like, this is ass, bro. But then... I listened to it in the whip, and I listened to it a few times. It's like, okay, this shit's pretty hard. I mean, okay, it's not like it's not his like best album or nothing, bro. But it's not as bad as what people are saying. I feel I like um, after two album. years, bro, he, he couldn't have dropped nothing where people would have been like, "That's exactly. it, that's it, that's the one." And, like, that's what we wanted. And, and, <laughs> like, and, you know, nothing he could have dropped. <laughs> We was talking about this. I was telling you, I was like, no matter what he drops, bro, the re- because he took so long, bro, like, there's literally nothing he can do to make people be like, casually, yeah, as this. you as you chilling across the street from the release party, as Dwayne chilling across the street from the release party, man, just kicking it, <laughs> just yeah, kicking I it. Release party, I release party in the Lowe's hotel, bro. That's where <laughs> I had my release party. <laughs> you hey, Dwayne, you should have you could have pulled up on your break realistically, bro. Oh, that was great. Right there. Literally across the street. But, um, yeah, bro, I feel like fans are just going to be fans, bro. Like, it's going to be some people that love it. I feel like some of the music, though, he going, like, into some, like, I like the way it's going, like, futuristic, like, yeah. The beats, the beat is, like, it's not even rap. Like, he's not even rapping no more, bro. Like, I feel like he just, like, he's just, like, making sounds. Like, he just, like, a... You feel me? Like a harmonizer. He's having his way. He's having his way. Literally. That's it. His way. I'd say. I mean, I think that people are going to hate, yeah, regardless, because it took so long. Uh, I definitely think that the album itself could have been better, and people's expectations were definitely really high for this album, for sure. That's why the the reaction was like that. I'd say a um, whole lot of red, bro. It's not his best album, but I do think it's like for Cardi's catalog, bro. If he drops anything after this, damn near in 20 years, it's definitely gonna go down as a classic for sure. Because of the, because of the like the the build up to it was more was more lit than the album, you know. Like the build up was why niggas is waiting for a whole lot of red, bro. Not yeah. like it's a really good marketing. It was like eternal on the take. It, yeah, it was like eternal, bro. Yeah. Eternal take. I'd say damn near more, mm-hmm. more, more anticipated than more. yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, definitely, definitely. Cardi fans is like crazy. They they different, bro. Like you should have seen them at the party, bro. Like <laughs> you were almost in there. They you know. they like circling the building, like trying to find any crap. Crack or crevices in the cement to to to, to, to like slither through. <laughs> like they would have climbed on a roof, bro. I think I seen somebody climbing on a roof trying to get in. <laughs> Freezing. Hey, how cold? Is it, how cold is it in Atlanta right now, bro? This fuck brick. This brick. That day it was like I ain't even know Atlanta, bro. This is the coldest it's ever been, bro. That's since I've been in A. Nah, the. I should. Your junior year it was the club coldest it's ever been, bro. And they, oh, when they, year, when they, when they, when they, when they was like, it was cold. They canceled, club, they canceled school because it was like <laughs> 30 degrees. <laughs> so they canceled school. They just don't know cold, bro. But I low key forgot it. I forgot about it. Damn, man. Real so quick, listen. real quick. I listened to it. I listened to it. I feel like. Uh, I don't like it. I don't 
that nigga shit. I feel like I don't like it. I just, I just I don't, don't like, it. like it. Like keeping it a thou wow. I yeah. like Tory Lane's songs, but I don't like his music. I'd say he has some fire songs, but he's not my, he's not my vibe. Oh, I mean, Tory got- Lane's yeah. loner, man. We got ten songs. He's he's keep dropping music, keep working hard, man. Um, the song Boink Boink is the one trash. Why what, you don't like that one? With the video, the girls in the video. I didn't see the video, but I like video the, hard videos. Smooth man. Yes, man. I don't I don't like the rich the kid feature. I don't like the rich the kid feature. I like the VVS Ken. Why you don't like rich kid? I don't like rich the kid on that song. Oh, on that you got a chain snatch by Uzi. You can't buck with Uzi. <laughs> no, straight, nice straight. <clears throat> but um, I heard about that too. I feel like he just dropping, just trying to get a bag, like anything to to stay above water, or trying to stay relevant, because you got that case going on. But the best song on here probably is Big, Big Tipper with Melly and Lil Wayne. I like that song. That song's cool. Well, the Lil Wayne feature was dope. What y'all think about this? I'm gonna give it like a seven. seven. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna give it a five. But I can't even like I can't even rate it, bro. Like I just didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like it, bro. You wasn't oh, rocking with it either, uh, Swiss. I didn't like it, bro. Like I can't I can't read it, bro. It's unreadable for me. Just like, like what is he t- where is he going with it, bro? Like how did, you- I, did he just drop like two days ago, bro? Yeah, I don't that even know, happen. bro. But this, like, this is not it. That boink boink song, bro. Like, that is not <laughs> it, bro. Like, it's not a bad song. In my, I don't know. Hold on, bro. Let me pull it up real quick, bro. Shorty be touching on me, riding and sliding, cr- climbing up and touching on D. That's one of the bars. <laughs> Thank you, sir. That's no, that's what nah. I didn't I didn't I didn't go to that part on purpose. I just pressed play <laughs> and skipped ahead a little bit. And that's what he said. I just said what he said, bro. Bro, bro this that shit like <laughs> <laughs> Yo, little fuck with that shit. <laughs> Get Toy out of here, bro. If he did that shit with Megan, get him out. No, oh, I feel... no, no, I rock with Tori, we... but like this, I'm just like, bro, what? <laughs> like, what, bro? Yeah, bro, I feel you, I feel you, bro. We all just waiting That's... on Nav to drop it in 2021, for real. Don't no, say man, we're not game. waiting on Nav to save the rap game. <laughs> Nav for Nav. <laughs> He gonna say the rap game, won't he? But that's part of his charm. Not that's not part of his charm. I'm the, bro, I'm people, the fan bro. Now that, that I think about it, bro, oh no, no, my my bro in Atlanta. I got a bro in Atlanta that listen to now, but like, ain't nobody a bigger Nav fan than me though. Yeah, I know that. Better, <laughs> <laughs> I, I see it right on your forehead. I see it right there. No. Take my shirt off and make the whole stuff breathe. I'm gonna play it. He's doing some breathing on the mic and going. No, like, this this song. Oh, uh, that shit's fire, bro. This is not popping so rock, and then it switches, right? That's a that's an old one. That's an old one. It switches right here. Feel me how it switches? No. That's yeah, how. Facts. That's you can see them like where he was going with it. You, now we can I'll see be, it. it. Makes like oh, like right that's there. what you were doing. That is some, really I feel cool. like some of it's over their head. Like the fan, regular people heads, they don't understand, right. bro. Since the album, I was like, this nigga is fire, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it just it, it like I don't feel like it's like you don't listen. I don't like I was telling Ellie earlier. I don't go listen to it like. For like motivation or nothing, I just go listen to Cardi for like just a vibe, like just it's a, it's a vibe, bro. <laughs> just like, fucking rock star, bro. <laughs> like just a vibe, just kick back, bro. Uzi, like all all respect. When he like, like on the new Cardi project, like on the project when he was like, 
uh, what's that song? Control. After Academics went off, he was like, yeah, he's Santa. He's Santa. Yeah, he's Santa. That's his surprise. He's Santa. He was like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I had to begin the song. That was so, that part was so hard to me, bro. Like, oh, yeah. Just that noise, bro. Like, uh, <laughs> it was. This is the one. On that time. On that time. I don't, I don't know, bro. My favorite beat was Beano. Easy. What? Yeah, what? <coughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, what do you think about just the ad? Hey, I know he be, t- I know he be in the studio, cause I know how rappers be in the studio recording, but I know he be in the studio just like what? I oh, like, like tired, bro. That's tiring, bro. Doing all those ad libs, bro. What? What? Huh? What was y'all's favorite uh, beat off the album? Um, hmm. Probably oh. that. Probably that. Yeah. Vamp, oh. Probably not that. Probably that vamp anthem. Man, it just remind, man, it just remind me as like a kid, bro. Like when I was what's a kid, that, just vibed out. That, on my game, nigga oh, from, on nah, my game Boy Advance. One nigga from Sesame Street, bro. The the vampire nigga, bro, with the numbers and shit. You know, what I'm talking they pro- they yeah. probably they probably uh sampled that from there. <laughs> my favorite beat was Vino though. That shit nah, new, so, new neon, uh, new neon is the artist uh beat. Yeah, Molly Raw. By Molly Raw, yeah. Yeah, Molly Raw is a Molly Raw ass beat. <laughs> yeah, that's the no, nah, he's that's the hardest. Him. That's why Uzi, bro, him and Uzi gotta get back together, bro. Yeah, that's pa- that, pause. That. Pause. They make hits. But um but they used to make hits, bro. They just had a fallout. Like, I don't know what that was about, but I did hear about that. I don't know what it was about, but I remember like, what he it did, was. bro. Cause Uzi, like the the um what was the song before uh Money Longer is harder than Love is Rage, bro? I mean than uh XO Tour Life. Money Longer was a harder song than XO Tour like song. I don't it always played at the concerts though. Yeah. That was like very popular. I don't like that. <laughs> when that first dropped Money Longer, that's when I was like I heard it when I heard it, I was like I looked at the cover art, I was like, Yeah, he's the one. He's next. Then I pulled up to it. Then I pulled up to his first one in Minnesota. It was not packed, bro, but it was so lit, bro. Then next show, state like arena. <laughs> I remember seeing him. He's so tiny, bro. He's so short. Uzi is so you short. You went you went to one of his uh shows before in New York? Yeah. And Cardi. Oh. Other yeah. than Ro- Rolling Loud, you talking about or a different one? Yeah, yeah. Other, no, other than Rolling Loud. Other than Rolling Loud. Oh, he it was lit. He came to Long Island? Yeah. He came to Long Island, bro. He Whoa, movie. movie. <laughs> yeah, I went to St. Louis, bro. Damn, they had flames yeah, shooting out the stage. Oh, you pulled up to it in St. Louis? Yeah, yeah. Damn, they had flames shooting out the stage and shit, bro. It was, it was lit, huh? Oh, mm-hmm. when he performed in Minnesota, the first Cardi show in Minnesota 2017, when Magnolia just came out, like, it just came out, like, three weeks ago. We have a... We have a yearly festival, like a, a hip hop, like different uh, artists and stuff perform. Them. They book all the big talent and stuff. And uh, it was right. They booked Cardi like right after his project, the self title drop, right after Magnolia, because that dropped in April. That project had dropped in like April 2017, and the um the um the event, the festival every year is in June. Cardi performed. He pulled up to Minnesota in the middle of the summer with a coat, with a North Face. That North Face you was looking for, Ellie, yeah. pulled up with the with the camo North Face coat in the middle of the summer, eighty degrees outside. You doing it for the North side. Face coat? Got to do it for the fit. You got to do it for the fit. He, com- he, co- he comes out to a uh, broke boy. Man. No, he came out to to Magnolia, bro. In New York, I'm really rock. In Minnesota, bro. Nah. Movie, like, when I tell you the crowd was, like, a whole different vibe. Like, I remember, like, I wasn't the Mosh Pit guy, but, you know, I'm directing the Mosh Pit. So, I'm, oh, I'm not going to hop in. Mom, oh, yo, bro, go go hop in, yeah. I'm telling everybody else to go hop in. Go, go, go crazy, you know what I'm saying? 
Hype man. Hype man. Hype man. Natural. Like, open that shit up. Yeah, like, God. open it up. Yeah, man. Whenever you're at the concerts, you got to be hyping the people up. I remember I was at Rolling Loud. They was going retarded for Travis Scott. Can't man. wait for the concerts to come back. You was, you was on stop. stage. You was almost on stage. You was definitely on stage, bro. We were all the way back there. We could have went up there and just said, what's up? Damn near. Nah, that's, that's a wrap, though, man. This is the bloopers, man. <laughs> yeah, give them this other shits. Give them the behind the scenes. Boxstar made wasn't bad, though. It was funny shit. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't it wasn't a hit. Rockstar man, <laughs> bro. He he just needs to keep that Slayer flow, bro. He just needs to keep that flow, that Slayer flow, bro. Yeah. And he gonna be he Gucci, bro. off with that. Slayer? No, like he should have st- the, the first the album. I like the layout the, of the album. No, no, the first song should have been Control. The first song yeah, should have yeah, been yeah, Control. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. Facts. Second song should have been Jump Out the House. Third song should have been Sky. Sky was hard. I told my man I went like 10 minutes for me. I remember like 10 minutes for me. I'll be honest, bro. This album kind of had like a trash-ass layout, bro. Whoever laid out this out, I mean, oop, <laughs> let me let me put some respect on Ye's name. But yeah, it was too late. Whoever, it, was too, it was too crazy, bro. I'm going to... I'm gonna I, like the, I like I like the ones that they... I like that they all went into each other kind of like that, for sure. But... You know, they were on and off. That's the only thing. But, like, yeah, man, this is a good good week in music, though, overall, man. We, we got some good music on. Yeah. yeah some... Pretty good. Pretty good week, bro. Lots of lots of hits, good-ass albums, bro. A whole lot of red going down as a classic. Dirt dropped sure. his best album he's ever made, in my opinion. A whole Chris lot of red solid. doing about 170 first week. His biggest. Oh, for real. His highest, yeah, his highest-selling um album ever. Is going is going to debut number one on the charts on Billboard. Going for it. Yeah, Cardi. He, we can't say. I mean, the numbers I mean, speak for itself. Still, right. If he's still pushing one seventy, bro, niggas is listening to it. No, this is he's. It's not him. Still, this is his first time doing that. Like, this is his biggest release oh. ever. Like, this is bigger than his first two projects, bro. That's crazy. Almost combined, the first, the second one, it's bro. So, this is bigger so- than. This is bigger than his first week and his first project and second project first week combined. The first project was 50, the first project was 59 and the sec well it's either combined or equal uh cuz first project was about 59 second project was about 69 first project 59 second project 69 70 around there. <clears throat> now he's doing 170. Yeah, that's a lot of red. That's still a whole lot, a lot more than combined. Yeah, that's like forty k, thirty k more. Yeah, so he he can't speak on. Jump out the house! Classic. Jump out the house! Jump out the house! I think he's gonna have a better album though. I think he'll come out with something better. Who? I think, I think Cardi is definitely gonna come out with something better for the deluxe. Yeah. And like the next album after this, I think he'll, he'll bro. The out. next album now will come out until we probably thirty, bro. bro <laughs> don't say that. Don't, say that, don't it, let's man. not even talk about the next album right now, bro. We just gotta and, just take this, bro. And the fucking Happy retirement home, bro. Yeah, the yeah. next the next album probably gonna come in like another twenty thirty for real, bro. Like literally. Yeah. That shit not coming out. Good ass. I doubt it. Well, good episode. Shout out to everybody who's watching. Shout For sure, man. You. Shout out to all the Funk family, man. We, you know what I'm saying? We just putting the pieces together, man. Y'all keep watching, man. Go share, comment, like, subscribe. You know? Do all that good all stuff, that man. Got the, that got the Swizzler. We got Ellie. We got, you know what I'm saying? We got Flav himself. That's it. That's, that's, that's another week, man. That's a wrap, man. Appreciate y'all watching, man. Y'all go subscribe. And go follow us, for sure. Right now.